and the last thing about uh, the spatial outputs for image pyramids is that with this uh, scale of the image well, if you are getting a one by one output you will be able to detect at max one object in the image that is from the entire image since your receptive field of the network is covers the entire image you will be able to uh, detect only one object and with this 2 by 2 output what you will be able to do is you will be able to detect up to four objects and in different locations for example uh, this box may not be able to detect any object or the cat is only partially visible here but this cat will uh, will will get detected with the yellow box so here the confidence score for the cat will be highest and uh, in this green box the confidence score for this dog will be highest then again the blue box won't be able to detect anything so in these two places you won't have any detections and the green and yellow box will be able to detect the dog and the cat respectively so this is how at different locations you can identify different objects and uh, with this special output, uh, output with 4 by 4 uh, special output you will be able to detect up to 16 objects and at different locations for example at these locations you will be able to def uh, detect these different cats okay so that's the meaning of this 4 by 4 output at different locations it will tell you what kind of object is there and of course it will also give you the bounding box so that is another way we can make use of the spatial output for image pyramids usually with small size images you will be able to detect large objects and uh, as you go at as the size or the scale of the image increases you will be able to detect smaller objects okay and uh, any any objects that are in between these two you might be able to detect at some in, in intermediate scale